guys this is brother shield here so in the last video we left off i'm um, right in the middle where we're trying to get to know everyone uh sorry um if i'm a bit shaken up it's been a long long time since i started recording videos uh, i was planning on doing streaming but i think that's best for android games i don't know why or at least pc anyway there's that girl i think apologize yeah want to talk to her you mean say i'm sorry Yes. She's scary and always seems so mad. You can do it. You just gotta... Wait a sec. Tell her why you did it. Because of my... thing? Yep. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Just be honest. Yes. I'm sorry I bit you sometimes. When I get scared, I do that, but I don't mean to. I just I just get scared and I'm sorry and I hope your finger is okay. Oh Shug, it's alright. We can all get a little crazy when we get scared. Thank you for your honesty and your apology. I did it! You sure did. That's nice. Oh, but I'm expecting shit to go wrong. Hey. Hey, you're new. I am. I'm carving a weapon. Uh, yeah, I can see that. You're good at that. You like that, huh, little dude? Want to see something cool? I want to see. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty rad, huh? That's how you fuck up some monsters. Swear. Uh, I'm sorry. Huh. <laughs> swear. Watch the swear. That'll be good. Yes. Redolent of rosemary. Lim oh, hey, damn, I should have listened. Clem, AJ, this is Omar. Eh, excuse me. Omar, Shit. as in save Omar from... Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place, and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. Omar from Walking Dead Michonne. I'm thinking of a different Omar. Uh... Hello. Hello. Oh, hey. It's you two. Clementine, right? Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm. Like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. <sighs> you seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back the safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt, which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it! That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting there. So? So it was just sitting there. AJ, give it back to him. Okay. Thank you. This thing is the only place I get any real privacy around here. I gotta preserve what I can, you know? I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know... Bye. Okay. I'm not ready. Not yet. Okay. Yeah, but sometimes you can never Let's be. Let's talk to someone sometimes else. Sometimes you can never be ready. All right. Who else? Hey guys.
Knock it off, Ten. Heard you guys didn't have the best introduction. I was defending myself. It wasn't my fault. Ten. You know, you really ought to be more careful. I was trying to help. What is this? Our graveyard. You guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried Ten Sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Paying respects. Should we do that too? No, Maybe? Uh, it's not our place. I've never seen anyone do that. Yeah. yeah, I think that'd be a very nice thing to do, AJ. Come on. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Clem? Yeah? I'm ready. Achievement unlocked. To talk to Marlin. Okay. Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. Good I'm the lucky one. He's just naturally good. Naturally good? That's rare stuff. I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? <laughs> Don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You, a regular heavyweight. <laughs> hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done! You guys earn your supper after all. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn, the choice again. Oh, what are the symmetry, Kenny? And oh my days! Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Wow, I can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Hmm, this is really good. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Come on. Uh. <laughs> Where are your manners, AJ? Good night. Good night. Clem. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. You sure? You bet. I'm all done. Yeah! <laughs> mm-hmm. Me too. Now what? I'll tell you what. Time for something very important. Oh, God. Good night. Violet, it's time. What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. Sounds fun. Need Sounds learn. fun. How do we play? It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. Okay. And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. Yeah. It's only fair. This is going to be cool. Ooh, wait, what about AJ? What about him? <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. Come on. You can take your eyes off it for one card game. But you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. 
Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. Rigged. Way to go, me. So, about AJ. Oh, this is good. Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related, so... What happened there? They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. <laughs> For the most part. Hey, I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? Well, I'm trying to meet anyone famous. Closest thing eaten. Worst injury weakness. What's up with your haircut, Marlin? Oh, boy. Uh, what do you mean? She means it looks like a dead cat. Probably smells <laughs> like one, too. Uh, I look cool. <laughs> Whatever you say. I say I look cool. <laughs> Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, oh my ever god, a boyfriend? Oh my god, <laughs> what it happened? Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. Oh, I'm sure she's real surprised about that one. I met a boy one time, and, and we were. Friends. Just friends. Nothing else? Nothing at all? He was a huge dork. Huh. No. He was such a huge dork. Oh, dude, you fucking loved him, huh? No. This is adorable. Ha, <laughs> I okay. win. Okay. So, Clef, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Lots of people other Anyone? than myself. The first person who taught me about survival was Lee. <laughs> What'd he teach you? Lots, Lots of, stuff. of stuff. Most important thing? He used, how to use a gun. He's gone, to me. How to say goodbye. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. Me, anyone famous? Worst. Worst injury you ever saw. I uh, saw so Walker get hit in the head so hard both his eyeballs flew out. Pretty cool. I saw someone have their intestines pulled all the way out. Like, all the way. It goes on for a while. We got a lot of guts. Oh. Lowest. Victory Violet. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? That is fucked up. <laughs> well, I know. Lewis, definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> What? I'd have said the same. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Yes. And no story. Go on. It was a yes or no question. I answered it. Drop it, Lewis. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah. It's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Uh-huh. Uh, good night. 
9 AJ. Long day, huh? Yep, real long. Uh, I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. You guys relax, get some sleep. I'm human for a night. <laughs> in the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. We can stay? We can talk about it. Nice, but always ends up hurling in the end. Ugh, there's always a story question. Season two, there was the story part with um Luke, and uh, season three, there was well, actually it was Javier. But uh, anytime it's Clementine, there's always a story. That looks like a really safe window. It does. Good. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like 10? Yeah, like 10. Huh. I like to do pictures too. So did I once. Oh. Shit, I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh. What? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, Ten sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's... It's fine, don't, don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's, it's fine. You should probably give it back. You can keep it if you like. You should probably give it back. Uh, it's okay, honestly. Damn it! I can just come back and grab it later. You can use it for now. I'll let Ten know. Okay. Huh. I see you're, um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had, like, paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> She had the most amazing voice, real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they, afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. Not a lot of good memories left. Most of us that are still around, a lot of times we have more bad memories than good. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? What exactly happened to them, Sophie and Minerva? They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly like a people person, you know? Mm -hmm. I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. You come off all right. I thought you were pretty cool. Oh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> oh. You were pretty cool too, up there against those walkers. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. Not bad, kiddo. I 
I should be getting back. Enjoy the art supplies, little man. Something is gonna go wrong. It's the walking dead. See ya. Yeah, see ya. See ya, man. Let's watch this movie. Okay, Alvin Jr. Time for bed. Okay, here. For me? For the wall, to make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. Uh, I like the drawing. How about here? Wait, so this is actually gonna be our house? Uh, AJ? Damn, that kid moves fast. On the floor. Technically, that's good for your back, but. Hey there. What are you doing? This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. You're gonna get cold down there. The bed's a lot warmer. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? <sighs> I'll keep watch. I'll sleep with one eye open if I have to. You can't sleep like that. I try. Takes practice. If I stay here, no one can find me. And I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. Please. It's not so bad down here. You can stay under the bed. I'll be okay. I no, promise. No, no. AJ, listen to me. It's gonna be okay. Please just give the bed a chance. It's soft and warm. I think you'll really like it. Well, technically the floor is actually better. It's good for your back, but then again, AJ has never been on the bed. Hmm. This bed is really soft. Told you so. It's really, really soft. Good night, AJ. Clem? Hmm? This place is nice. I'm glad we found it. Me too. Doesn't mean things won't go wrong. Achievement unlocked. End of the road. Complete act one. Wait, so there's six acts on there? Normally? He's gonna let us stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Up here! Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. Tintu. Hi. Hey, Tennessee. What are you guys doing? I was looking for more pencils, but I wasn't able to find any. Doc Cage. They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. You already know what happened to them. They weren't strong enough. No, that's not true. They were super strong. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay. That's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. It's mine. No, it's not. Ugh, fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlin is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Cage. I'm really looking at that cage. Hey, what'd you find? A 
It's a picture of Marlon and Louis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? Marlon? Stay back. Dogs brought back bad memories. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so scared. But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. <laughs> Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. Here. I'll show you. Do you trust me? Rosie. Okay, I guess. Get down on her level. Let her get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. Lie down, Rosie. See? Not so hard. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog back when this place was still functional. Oh boy. But when the world went Demon shit, alert. Bailed. All the other adults did. Us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow. What a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left, and I'd like it if you and AJ were part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. Safe zone. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. Greenhouse. Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. Had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. I wanted this place to be hard to find. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. Uh... What's the trap area? The hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. Train station. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. Uh, that was a couple. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, got a shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's secure mostly. Occasional walker to come by. Vine Brody should be heading up there in a bit. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and the food's become more scarce. So why not go outside it? <laughs> I can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or True. disappear. I just. <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, it, 
If I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already we lost so much. I know how Friends, it feels to lose. Siblings, I can't let another kid die. It could break us. Everybody dies. It's not really up to us anymore. <sighs> I know. But we gotta do everything we can to prevent the inevitable. At the very least, delay it. Everyone's counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. Maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. Uh... Violet. We're gonna go fishing. Okay. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, you're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. Okay, I think we're near the end. I, I'm not sure. There was Act 1, Act 2, Act 3. Playing cool. Oh, this is from the trailer, I think. Oh, but I love that water, how it renders. You know, I've been thinking. I wish we could all go on a road trip together. Road trip? Why bother? It's not like there's anything worth seeing anymore. Oh, come on. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff to see. Maybe Clem could show us around. You're able to get a car working, and you know how to drive? Barely. Come on, Vi. I've never driven in my life, but I'd love to learn. Are you sure you trust my driving? I promise I don't usually crash. <laughs> oh, right. On second thought. Yeah, I think Clem just totaled the last working car in the world. So much for your road trip. Are we going to the car? No, bud. It's broken. Good. I'm sick of the car. I wish this old rust bucket was still working. We could just Kenny! jump in and start driving. Oh my god! We could take turns sitting in the back. It'd be like driving one of those cars with the top that goes down. We'd run out of gas eventually. But still, it's fun to imagine, isn't it? <laughs> Where would you go, Clem? If you could drive anywhere you wanted. I'd go find Kenny. If gas wasn't an issue. Or a busted carburetor, or flat tires, or the transmission. Buzzkill. I'd drive down to the coastline, maybe park on the beach and go swimming. That'd be an absolute dream. You could spend every day in the sun. And die of skin cancer. Fun. We're all gonna die. I'll take skin cancer over turn it into a walker any day. I've lived here my entire life. Heck, I'd say I know every inch of these woods. I'd kind of like to unknow it. No use dreaming of what could be. We've got shit to do. Yeah. I guess we should get to work on those fish. We got spears inside the shack. Come on. You go ahead. I'll stay out here. Okay. Where are those spears? Hey. About by. I'm sorry she's being a little mean. It's my fault. What do you mean? I was there when those walkers killed Sophie and Minnie. They were really close with Vi, and I think she blames me for what happened to them. I mean, how do you even apologize for something that fucked up? I don't know. Maybe I deserve it. 
You should talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll listen. <laughs> yeah, right. I tried. I have. It just never seems like the right time. We all used to be friends. <sighs> Guess I just kind of missed that. But when you showed up, I, I don't know. I just haven't seen her warm up to someone in a long time. On the spears. Hmm. Do you? I mean, I hate to ask this of you, but do you think you could talk to her? See how she feels about me? It's just been eating me up inside. I can try, but I can't make any promises that it'll help. Thanks, Clementine. I'm gonna go check our fish traps downstream. See? I'll take this to Vi. There should be some extras lying around. Alright, scavenge the place. It's time to scavenge. There's been too many, too many cutscenes. Uh, there's been too many cutscenes. We need to start putting some gameplay in. This bed was nice. Grab a spear. Cool. Ready to get some fish? Yeah. Okay, I'm let's go. I'm to talk to AJ first. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Can I join you? Sure. Hey, check out these guys over here. They're swimming against the current. Guess they don't realize it makes them easier targets. I want to try. Take a spear. Go if someone against the current, that means something bad. Walkers. Or people. No, no, no. Walkers, most likely. Or something else. Go ahead and try. You're not running. Profile signed out. Oh, damn it! Uh, one sec, guys. Uh, I'm, in fact, I'll pretty much end the video right here. Um, be right back, guys.